What's the checklist you kind of go through? So we look for very high quality businesses. Uh, what we describe as simple, predictable, free cash flow generative, dominant businesses, a, a business that Warren Buffett would describe as having a moat around it. Finding ways to become financially free in this day and age is easier than ever with dividend stocks. But with so many options, which ones truly deserve a spot in your portfolio? We're looking at Bill Ackman, a big name in investing, and his favorite seven stocks that he thinks we should buy and hold forever. These aren't just any stocks. They're ones that pay you back regularly and have the potential to grow over time. So, if you're dreaming of making money in your sleep and securing your financial future, you're in the right place. Let's get started and see how these special stocks can help you build a steady income for years to come. Alright, let's get into the mindset of Bill Ackman before we jump into the juicy part about the stocks. How much cash is going to generate over its life? So, so business quality to us is the single most important uh, criterion for determining what's interesting. You see, Ackman has a pretty clear-cut way of picking his battles in the stock market. It's not about having a bunch of stocks, it's about having the right ones. He looks for companies that are at the top of their game, ones that are not just playing in the league but dominating it. Now, think about a company that's like your go-to restaurant because you know you'll get a good meal every time. That's what Ackman is after in the stock world. He wants companies that can be counted on, keep making money without any problems, and have a stronghold on their market. I mean, who wouldn't want that, right? But here's where it gets interesting. Ackman doesn't just pick any company that pays dividends. No, he's looking for those that have the promise of growing, of increasing their dividends over time. It's not just about getting a slice of pie today, it's about making sure that that slice gets bigger and bigger. Imagine that you're planting a tree. You wouldn't want one that just grows tall, but also grows strong, with deep roots and more branches. That's how Ackman sees his stocks. He's planting seeds in companies that are not just strong today, but will grow stronger, more dominant, and more profitable as time goes by. So when we talk about diving into Ackman's world and picking stocks, remember, we're not just looking for any stock, we're on the hunt for those rare finds that are easy to understand, make a lot of money, and have a fortress around them, so strong that no one else can easily take their place. Alright, going straight into our first gem from Bill Ackman's treasure chest, let's talk about Restaurant Brands International, or QSR for short. Now, when you hear Restaurant Brands International, it might not ring a bell at first. But if I mention Burger King, Tim Hortons, or Popeyes, you'll instantly recognize the significant player this company is in the fast food world. So what is Bill Ackman, and why should we care about QSR? Well, it's all about the blend of familiarity and reliability. These aren't just brands we know, they're brands we see everywhere from the busiest cities to quiet small towns across the globe. And in the world of investing, especially when we're talking about dividends, visibility and presence mean stability, and you guessed it, cash flow. Because if, if we can't predict the cash flows, we don't know what it's worth. If we don't know what it's worth, we can't invest. So we figure out what it's worth, we figure out how good the business is, how predictable will this cash flows be from a railroad or a spirits company or a real estate company. QSR stands out because it's not just about flipping burgers or brewing coffee. It's about a proven business model that's been refined over the years. This company has mastered the art of serving up what people want, making it a daily habit for millions. That's a big deal because those daily habits translate into steady sales. And steady sales means steady dividends for investors like us. But QSR isn't resting on its accomplishments. They're constantly innovating, whether that's through menu updates, digital ordering enhancements, or expanding their global footprint. For us as investors, this means there's potential for growth on top of the already solid foundation. And when Bill Ackman looks at QSR, he sees a company that's not just leading the pack today, but is well positioned to stay at the front for years to come. It's this blend of current strength and potential future that makes Restaurant Brands International a top pick in Ackman's playbook for those coveted buy and hold forever dividend stocks. Moving on to our second star player in Bill Ackman's lineup, we've got Lowe's Companies, ticker symbol LOW. Now, Lowe's might make you think of weekend home improvement projects or that time you went looking for the perfect paint color but there's a lot more to Lowe's than just being the go-to spot for DIY enthusiasts. 
So why does Lowe's make it into Ackman's portfolio of forever stocks? It boils down to a few key points. First off, Lowe's is a titan in the home improvement retail sector. They're not just selling tools and materials, they're selling the dream of a better home. And that dream is something that never goes out of style. But here's where it gets interesting for us as investors. Lowe's has been around the block, and they know their business inside and out. They've weathered economic ups and downs, adapting and growing through them all. This resilience is exactly what you want in a company when you're thinking about long-term investments and dividends. Ackman sees Lowe's as a company that's not just surviving, but thriving. They're expanding their services, embracing online sales, and enhancing the customer experience both in-store and digitally. This forward-thinking approach is key to staying relevant in a competitive market. Now, let's talk dividends. Lowe's has a history of rewarding its shareholders, and with their continuous growth and solid market position, the future looks promising for dividend seekers. Investing in Lowe's, according to Ackman's philosophy, is like investing in a piece of the American dream, the constant pursuit of a better, more comfortable home. Next up in Bill Ackman's portfolio of dividend darlings is Hilton Worldwide Holdings, ticker symbol HLT. Now, when you think of Hilton, luxurious stays and global travel might come to mind. But let's peel back the layers and see why Hilton is not just a leader in hospitality, but also a standout choice for investors looking for solid dividend stocks. Hilton is more than just a hotel brand. It's a global powerhouse in the travel industry, with a portfolio that spans across several different market segments. From upscale hotels to extended stay suites, Hilton has something for every type of traveler. This diversity isn't just great for guests. It's a strategic advantage that helps Hilton navigate the ups and downs of the travel industry. But why does Ackman, and why should we, bet on Hilton? It's all about resilience and growth. The travel industry can be volatile and affected by economic cycles, global events, and changing consumer trends. However, Hilton has demonstrated time and time again its ability to adapt, innovate, and grow, regardless of the challenges. This resilience is exactly what you want to see in a company when you're thinking about long-term investments. Ackman's interest in Hilton also highlights the company's commitment to expanding its global footprint and enhancing its brand portfolio. With a focus on strategic growth areas, including emerging markets and lifestyle brands, Hilton is well positioned to capture future travel demand. Now let's talk about those dividends. Hilton's approach to shareholder returns is as thoughtful as its approach to hospitality. By maintaining a strong balance sheet and focusing on a sustainable growth, Hilton aims to provide steady and growing dividends to its investors. This makes Hilton a compelling pick for those looking to add a touch of luxury to their dividend stock portfolio. With its proven track record, strategic growth initiatives, and commitment to shareholder returns, Hilton embodies the qualities Ackman looks for in a buy and hold forever dividend stock. It's not just about the returns today. It's about being a part of a brand that's shaping the future of how we explore the world. Going into the fourth jewel in Bill Ackman's crown, we find Canadian Pacific Kansas City, ticker CP. This isn't just any railroad company. It's a pivotal player in the North American transportation landscape, connecting key markets across the US, Canada, and Mexico. Ackman's inclusion of CP in his portfolio highlights a keen eye for essential infrastructure investments that promise steady returns. Why CP? It's all about strategic significance and the irreplaceable role it plays in the economy. Railroads are the arteries of commerce, and CP's expansive network ensures that it's at the heart of North American trade. This positions CP uniquely for long-term growth and resilience, key attributes Ackman seeks in a dividend-paying stock. CP's commitment to efficiency and expansion means it's not just keeping pace with demand, but actively shaping the future of freight transportation. For investors, this translates to a company with a solid foundation for dividends and growth potential. Investing in CP is a strategic move to harness the enduring value of critical infrastructure, making it a perfect fit for buy and hold forever strategies. In the landscape of dividend investments, Howard Hughes Corporation, or HHC, emerges as a distinctive choice in Bill Ackman's portfolio, aligning perfectly with our theme of the buy and hold forever dividend stocks. 
HHC isn't your typical real estate company. It's a visionary enterprise that crafts master plan communities and transformative projects, aiming to redefine the way people live, work, and play. Ackman's bet on HHC is rooted in the company's innovative approach to real estate development, which focuses on creating long-term value through strategic land development, mixed-use properties, and commanding community-centric spaces. What makes HHC stand out as a forever hold? It's the company's ability to generate sustainable growth and cash flows through its diversified portfolio. With a keen eye on strategic development and capital allocation, HHC is poised for continued expansion and value creation. This approach not only ensures a stable and potentially growing dividend for investors, but also positions HHC as a player in shaping the future of American real estate. For those looking to diversify their dividend stock portfolio with a real estate firm that has a clear vision for growth and innovation, Howard Hughes Corporation represents a compelling long-term investment opportunity. Chipotle Mexican Grill stands out as a spicy pick in Bill Ackman's seven buy-and-hold-forever dividend stocks. Embodying a unique blend of fast casual dining with a commitment to sustainability and quality, Ackman's investment in CMG shows how much he believes in the brand's strong growth, which is driven by its food with integrity philosophy and its strong connection with health-conscious customers. Chipotle's innovative approach to the restaurant industry, emphasizing fresh ingredients, transparent sourcing, and customizable meals, has not only set it apart from competitors, but has also paid the way for a loyal customer base and impressive financial performance. What makes CMG a compelling forever hold? It's Chipotle's relentless focus on operational excellence, digital innovation, and market expansion. With a strategic pivot towards digital ordering, delivery, and new format stores, Chipotle is well positioned to capitalize on evolving dining trends and consumer preferences. This adaptability, combined with a solid financial foundation, suggests a promising outlook for sustained growth and shareholder returns. For investors seeking a dynamic player in the dividend stock arena, Chipotle Mexican Grill offers a tantalizing mix of growth potential, brand strength, and a forward-looking business model. Starbucks Corporation brews its way into Bill Ackman's seven buy-and-hold forever dividend stocks with its unparalleled global presence and deep-rooted connection with coffee lovers worldwide. Ackman's inclusion of SBUX in his portfolio demonstrates his belief in the company's enduring brand value, innovative customer engagement, and expansive global network. Starbucks isn't just about coffee. It's about creating a unique third place between work and home, where community, culture, and connection brew alongside innovative beverage creations. What sets SBUX apart as a forever hold? It's Starbucks' strategic growth initiatives, including its emphasis on digital innovation, sustainability, and global expansion, particularly in high-growth markets like China. These efforts are complemented by Starbucks' commitment to social impact through ethical sourcing, environmental stewardship, and community involvement, aligning with the values of today's consumers and investors alike. For those looking to enrich their dividend stock portfolio, Starbucks presents a compelling case. With a consistent track record of dividend growth, a resilient business model capable of navigating market fluctuations, and a vision that transcends coffee to embrace broader societal trends, Starbucks epitomizes the qualities of a sustainable long-term investment. Ackman's choice of SBUX reflects a strategy that values not just financial returns, but also corporate responsibility and brand loyalty making Starbucks a top choice for investors aiming for both profit and purpose. From the fast, casual dining revolution of Chipotle to the global coffee culture cultivated by Starbucks, these picks highlight Ackman's strategic approach to long-term investing. Now we turn to you. Which of these dividend stocks aligns most closely with your investment philosophy? And how will you integrate these insights into your own portfolio strategy? Share your thoughts and strategies in the comments below. And let's continue to learn and grow together in our investment journey.